Hi, witchy friends, Tara Incognita here, and I have not uploaded in forever. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I did tell you last time that it was going to be an as and when kind of upload situation. So I don't feel too guilty. I just didn't know that as and when was going to be so far in between. And that's so bad, so bad. But, um, you know, it was a busy year. My dad and my brother moved in and we had to figure out routines and get things, get used to things. And I think, you know, things are settling down. So we're kind of, you know, but man, it was sucking up a lot of my time and work's been crazy and ugh, it's been nuts. But I do, I've been wanting to upload for a few days now. Um, and Monsoon Magic uploaded a couple of videos and God, I just, oh, it made me want to jump on that horse and get something uploaded because it's been forever. So what I want to talk about is the Wild Moon Woman video. Um, she recently did a testimonial where she converted to Christianity. This is not a response to that. This is not a response to that. I have nothing to say to that. Enough responses have been done. Enough things have been done. Um, I really don't think there's anything more to say to that. It's kind of, you know, come and gone and been beaten to death. What I want to talk about is in the video, she was saying that this neo-pagan path has an anything goes kind of policy um, that, you know, that we can mess with things and it doesn't really matter because anything goes like we have this flippant attitude about, you know, we can do whatever we want and everything else be damned, you know, and that was kind of what came across to me. It could have been intended differently, but basically I got this, um, you know, we don't have morals, we don't have ethics. We don't really care about consequences because we're neo-pagans and we can do whatever the hell we want kind of mentality. And I'm not singling her out here. I'm bringing it up because I've seen it before. I've seen posts about it. I've seen videos about it. I've seen things where people have mentioned this. And to me, that is not how I understand the neo-pagan path to be, right? So I wanted to start a conversation because I really... I'm curious to see what other people think and what your thoughts are and how you understood this, what it to mean and, you know, what you think this path really means. Um, that is not my understanding. And I feel like if that is what you think about it, that you should do some more digging. Um, and I also kind of connect that to the people, you know, we hear about the fluffy bunnies. And I've always been like, you, you know, be a fluffy bunny love and light blah 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 who cares you know but um when you talk about the fluffy bunnies i i think now that i know more and so many years into this practice you know the fluffy bunny mentality it's not necessarily just love and light and no darkness but also a shallower understanding of the neo-pagan path and you know there's all this other stuff these other layers <laughs> And I kind of felt like in the Wild Moon Woman video, she was touching on this much of stuff, but there's all this other stuff down here that you have to dig deeper into and really get a sense of. And that's kind of my feeling. Like, I think you need to walk the path more <laughs> if that's what you think that anything goes, because to me, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. So basically, my understanding... I feel like we do have a moral compass. We do have a conscience. We do know right from wrong, you know. Um, we know these things. Not because some God tells us it's so. Not because we're afraid that the devil is going to, you know, torture us in hell forever. Not because we think that, you know, God is going to come down and smite us. We do right and we do good because we know right from wrong, you know. There are consequences. Consequences does not mean um, God or the devil punishing us, in my opinion. Um, you know, I don't believe that there is some outside disembodied intelligence watching my every move, waiting for me to do something wrong so they can smite me down. That's not what I think. Um, I think as neo-pagans and as somebody who seriously walks the path, what it means is that we take responsibility. If we want to learn something new, then we learn how the consequences of that will affect 
ourselves and those around us and other people. We learn if we need to protect ourselves, how to protect ourselves. We know that if we do something, you know, we have to make this choice. Yes, I can do anything I want. Anybody has that. It's called freedom of will. <laughs> you know, <laughs> everybody has this. You can do anything you want in this world, regardless of what the law says, regardless of what the Bible says, regardless of anything. You can make a choice to do anything in this world you want. But when you make that choice, there are things that happen as a result. There are consequences. When we choose to do magic, when we choose to do tarot, when we choose to read for other people, when we choose to do a hex or a curse, things happen. When we choose to do a spell, things happen. And along this path, I feel like because we don't just do right or wrong or do things because of a disembodied intelligence, as Kellyanne would call it, um, because we don't concern ourselves with whether or not outside, you know, gods and devils are going to do something to us, we make ourselves aware of what the consequences are. We take responsibility. When we make that choice, we're making it knowing full well something's going to happen, how's it going to happen, who it's going to affect. So yes, I can cast a curse on this person. I know that that is going to affect me. It's going to drain my energy. It is going to have, you know, effects on that person. It is going to affect the, you know, things that happen in the world to, around that person. There's a butterfly effect. If it, if, if I do it, uh, it's probably going to affect my attitude, quite frankly. Um, you know, if I, if I cast a spell for healing on somebody, that is going to affect, those things affect you and the person that you're, you're sending that energy to. It uses your energy. It affects your body. It affects your mind, um, which in turn affects the people around you. So if I go and rob a store, <laughs> it affects me. There's a consequence. I could go to jail. I might get money and maybe nothing will happen for a while. Maybe nothing will happen ever. I don't know. But there are consequences that happen. It affects other people. So I have to know right from wrong. I have to know what the effects are of things that I'm doing. And I think as neo-pagans, we take more of that into consideration. We don't just stop here. We don't stop at, I can or cannot do this because God said so. We stop at, I can or cannot do this because this, 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 and this will happen. And this is how I feel about that. This is what I'm prepared to deal with. This is what I think I can handle. So I kind of think in a way, you know, it's more involved. It's, we are more responsible for ourselves. Um, that's my personal feelings on it. You know, yes, I can study um, the Egyptian culture and use their gods and pray to those gods and do spells and magic that center around those things. Um, I may have some cultural backlash. I may have people tell me I'm culturally appropriating. I, um, you know, maybe I focus so much on that part of my practice that some other part of my practice suffers because of it. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of different things. Maybe, you know, it's the most wonderful thing that has ever happened. And, um, you know, all the consequences are good. So it doesn't matter what it is. Every action we take, we have to think about. And I think we do think about it more than other people almost. Not to sound, I mean, I'm not trying to be like braggy. Ooh, neo-pagans are better than everybody else. This is just kind of my take on it. You know, when I learn a new spell or dabble in something, like a, a new type of spell, you know, I have to think about, do I need to shield myself? Do I need to protect myself? What do I need to do? Do I, you know, is this going to affect me? Is this going to affect somebody else? Is this going to, going to have any side effects? You know, I have to think about those things. Um, and so it really isn't an anything goes. Just like in life, anything doesn't go. 
You know, um, you hear about these, okay, in practical life, a business, a business discriminates against a person. I refuse to help you. I refuse to serve you. That business has that right. That business can refuse service to anybody. Does that mean there's no consequences? Legally, maybe not. But on social media, there could be a backlash. That business needs to think about that. They have the right to discriminate against a person and serve only the people they want. But they need to be aware that when they do that, there will be fallout. There will be consequences. It just might not be legal consequences. There's always a reaction. For every action, there's a reaction. It's science. <laughs> and, you know, I've always said religion and science go together, right? <laughs> so I really feel like even though it's, you know, we kind of pick and choose what to incorporate into our practice, it is not by any means an anything goes kind of thing. It is a think about what you do and why you're doing it kind of thing. Um, so that's my take on it. I hope all that made sense. I feel like I rambled a lot and maybe went off on a couple tangents there. But I just feel like so many people don't take our faith and our religion seriously because of the fact that they think we just do whatever we want, whenever the hell we want. And that's not by any means what it is. Um, so I don't know. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you or even do a response video and put the link below so I can check it out. And uh, hopefully I will be posting again soon. Love you guys. Blessed be.